Hello everybody, I am Spectacular. How are you? And this is gold. Man, I enjoy myself some gold. I've made a nice little circle out of gold just for fun because it's visually pleasing to at least me. I don't know about you. Listen, I found something interesting in the news and it talked about home sales. I know, right? We're talking about gold and then home sales. What in the world's going on? So I've been watching the housing market pretty closely, right? Because in the last eight, nine years, my home price has been going through the roof. Not my own roof, thank goodness. Otherwise, I'd be more money out of my pocket. But you know what I'm saying? Through the roof, this stuff is getting so expensive. In fact, the price that I paid for my home has almost doubled in that amount of time. I've been watching it, trying to see when is this bubble going to break? Because how often can you just keep doubling the price of a home before people can no longer afford to buy one? The pandemic caused a lot of issues for people financially, and a lot of that hasn't been realized yet. People during the pandemic, they weren't having their jobs, they weren't you know, going to work, uh, they were struggling. So what do you do when that happens? You swipe your credit card, right? You just keep on racking it up, racking it up. It's going to be a nasty trickle effect of just people trying to catch up, catch up to their credit. Now, yes, they got some stimulus checks, but let's be honest, those stimulus checks were not enough for a normal family to be able to survive on, pay all their bills. That credit card is going to be that lifeline. They're just going to have to, you know, keep racking it up. So eventually they're going to be going and looking for a, a home or you know, whatever, going to get a credit check and just going to say, hey, man, you got some crazy credit bills. You know, you, you I don't know how this is going to work for you. And uh, people are going to be struggling. They might not even be able to buy a home because their credit is going to be so shot. I think that bubble is going to break very soon. I think that the price of homes is going to come skyrocketing back down eventually. It's going to be a great time to buy. When this housing bubble actually bursts, um, you know, people who had the hard assets like gold and silver, um, I think they're going to be doing pretty well because we're going to end up in uh, another depression, I'm afraid. It's it's coming. I mean, everybody's been talking about it since the beginning of the pandemic. Just, you know, when is this going to happen? Unfortunately, one aspect of gold and silver is when bad things happen in the world, the prices of these go up. For us, the people who are stackers, I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Uh, so listen, if you're not already stacking this stuff, get into it. I want to show you an alternate way to get into the gold game without actually getting into the hard stuff like this all the time. Just an alternate thing. Not that I don't recommend this stuff. I highly recommend collecting the physical precious metals. But let's talk real quick about how it comes out of the ground. And let's talk about a mining company. All right, so the company I'd like to talk about now is Blue Lagoon Resources. Now, before I go on, I do want to say that I am not a financial advisor. I'm reading the news just like anybody else can. I'm visiting these sites just like anybody else is able to do and just gathering some information and presenting it. I also want to say that Blue Lagoon Resources is a sponsor for this video, but don't freak out. Nobody's holding a gun to my head, right? This is something I choose to do, and I've chose to do it based on the research that I've already seen on this company, and I feel like it could be a potential benefit for you to check out some of this information. One thing that always excites me is when I can buy low and sell high, right? So now I wanna talk about one thing that I think that in my opinion is a low price when it comes to their stock price, right? Because they haven't really started really mining yet. It's more of a drilling operation, finding out where this gold is, making discoveries. And then when they find the perfect place to start going crazy on mining, that's when this particular stock could go crazy. They have a couple options for stock prices here. You have the Canadian exchange, ticker symbol BLLG, or an American exchange in the OTC markets, BLAGF. For me, I'm looking at the OTC markets. I see 47 cents. I find that to be an interestingly low number, in my opinion, again. Uh, first of all, because their debt is so low, they paid for things with their stock prices, and this company hasn't really started the mining process yet. You start mining and you start getting gold, what could happen potentially to the stock price? I believe there's a lot of potential for an upside in this particular company. Um, I think this is something that we're gonna wanna revisit in one year just to see how it did, and I think that it could be very good. Great question was asked to the CEO, Raina Vig, uh, just about the company. So I want you to hear it from his own words and see his face so you know what he's all about. Blue Lagoon is a is a very exciting uh, a company. You know, we acquired this uh, project uh, just six, uh, almost seven months ago. It's a fully permitted 
uh, mine in northern British Columbia. Uh, these people who owned it before me had, were there for a dozen years, spent uh, over $28 million on mine development, infrastructure, and permitting. I came along, uh, picked up this uh, project, uh, really at an incredibly uh, cheap uh, valuation, and, and no cash uh, was paid, and it was an all-stock deal, and I escorted them for almost three years. So it was amazing. So we have a fully permitted mine that we believe uh, we're on track to be in a, in a, in a, in a decision to be in production uh, by summer of next year. Uh, it's only a million and a half dollar capex, believe it or not, uh, because it get, literally it's on the one yard line. So I'm executing on, the, on, that, uh, on, the, on those three key things. And then uh, on the second part of the, our company is that we have this massive 12,000 hectare property that has 15 high grade veins already identified that we're going to be going after here. Yet 90% of the property was never explored because their focus was always on just trying to get the mine into production. Uh, so we have a, a couple of plays get the, become a near term uh, cash producer as well as a huge opportunity. The blue sky is, is amazing on this, uh, on, on this play here to be able to find uh, more and to prove that we have a lot more gold and silver uh, uh, based on the historical data that we have. I thought that information was very informative. Uh, it's very interesting, too, that one of the properties, only 10% is actually explored. So there's a lot of potential here, um, a lot for the future. So don't think of this as something that's been going on for a long time and it's it's just not profitable. Um, the profit's not there yet because the mining hasn't started. So, you know, give them a break on that. But I think once it has begun, I think you're going to see a lot of increase to this company, uh, potentially. And I think, you know, the stock price, in my opinion, um, could definitely go much higher. One thing I want you to do is I want you to take a, just a moment and I'll provide a link down in the description to their website. Um, but check out Blue Lagoon's website because you see that they have a game plan for everything they're doing. And it's set up to the point where they really want the investors to know what's going on with the company. They don't want to leave anybody in the dark. Um, they're, they're going through the process with you. And I find that to be refreshing. Um, like for instance, right here, uh, you look at the, the goals for the dome mountain gold mine they have. And, uh, the first one is uh, complete amendments to mine permit. And I'm just going to read this real quick, complete the three key amendments required in order to commence mining. And some of the information that I read, uh, in order to get those amendments squared away was a, uh, $1.5 million. And, um, that's, uh, you know, for a company is just, you know, a toss in the bucket. It's no, not really a big deal. And uh, with them not having much debt, it won't be an issue for them to go ahead and get that going. Definitely check out Blue Lagoon Resources. Uh, check out the links down in the description. Go to their company's website. Uh, fascinating that they have such little amounts of debt. Uh, they were able to acquire the, this mine for so cheap. They have four different places that they can mine at um, where, you know, they can get gold from some, copper from others, uh, other metals as well. So, you know, they, they got a lot of potential for the future, in my opinion, um, which is good for you and I, because that means their stock price could potentially have some potential. You know what I mean? Potential, they have some potential. So definitely check them out and uh, let me know what you think. I like these videos that show us ways to get into gold, silver, other precious metals um, beyond just the physical only, uh, ways to play the game that's just, you know, similar but different and the mining companies to me are very interesting um, i've been on a, a stock binge these last uh, couple years uh, especially during the pandemic and uh, things have been going nicely i just say that things have been going okay for old spectacular so i do want them to go okay for you too um, always do your research um, i provide links down in the description to help you you know see about these companies more um, to gather your own thoughts and uh, you know, maybe, maybe you like some, maybe you don't, but definitely do your own research because that will help you to, you know, sleep better, right? At night, for sure. Um, listen, something's going to happen. You just can't have the prices of homes just continuously grow without stopping. Eventually, you know, what goes up must come down. That's a law. That's a law, you know. So uh, be, be expectant uh, pretty soon. I would imagine, you know, this year at the end towards uh, 2022, Something crazy is going to happen to where uh, people are going to be having a hard time. And are you going to be one of those people? Or are you going to be ready for that hard time? As ready as you can be, right? Um, I hope that you are. I hope you're one of those people that are able to prepare for the, the worst. You know, that way you can just either weather the storm or you can be, you know, feeling really good through that storm. 
Uh, depends on how big of a boat you're going to be able to get, if you know what I mean, you know, speaking uh, metaphorically here. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you like seeing a little gold on the table. Uh, hopefully it actually puts some thoughts in your head about the housing market and gold and its potential in the future, because uh, this stuff is going to be around for a few more years, I think, right? If history is any indication of where gold is going. It's not going anywhere. It's staying right here. We're going to need it. Um, if Elon Musk goes to Mars, we're going to need gold up there. If uh, if things are happening in the housing market and there's a crash, people are going to need gold still. You know what I mean? We still have to make stuff. We still need gold for industry. We're never going to not need gold. So make sure you're stacking it. Make sure that you're weighing your options. Check out companies like Blue Lagoon Resources. You know, See if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, and do your research. Like I always say, I got to go for now. Spectacular. This guy is out. Thank <laughs> you.